How's it going guys? There's this film out right now and it's called A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night and it is directed by a woman named Anna Lily Armpit... I don't know. And basically the best way to describe this movie is that it's... the tagline says it's the first Iranian vampire western. Yeah, that's kind of a weird combo, but it's that's pretty much what it is. That's the best way to explain it. The film follows a guy in this Iranian ghost town named Bad City. And Bad City really isn't a place you would want to live in, mainly because it is being terrorized by a vampire, and people don't really know about this. But yeah, the vampire, it, it's this girl wearing like this weird cloak, and um, you know, she likes to go out at night, and she likes to stalk people, and then eventually, you know, sucks their blood and you know that's you know you know the whole vampire thing and the guy i i forget his name in the movie but the main guy you're following um eventually finds her uh one night and um they form a pretty strange bond i'll just leave it at that the film is shot completely in black and white and it is done beautifully it's a very gorgeous looking movie even though it's in black and white it's still it's very very well made. I believe this is the director's directorial debut and um, she does an awesome job for her first time at making a feature length film. The whole film it's it's very artsy. I don't want to say it's scary although it is a horror film. It's not it's not really scary. It's very it's artsy and because it's a bit of an art house film that means it's it's very slow and there are very you know a lot of slow parts and um, it's not you know a movie that I think a lot of you know, horror movie fans would would really like. It's definitely not a movie, you know, all about blood and gore. It's it's definitely more about the style of the filmmaking. Now here's the thing, I normally am not a big fan of vampire movies. I don't know what it is about vampires, but there's just something about them that doesn't really interest me. I feel like if you've seen one, you've seen them all. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, I gotta say, this is one of the best vampire movies I think I've ever seen. I will go as far as saying that, but then again, that's just coming from a guy who doesn't normally like vampire movies. And what makes this vampire film so great is the fact that the vampire, it just, they don't sparkle. But no, the reason why I like this film is that it's because there's something about it that is very, very different from... A lot of the other vampire films that have come out, came out, came out, come out, came out, I don't know. Because it's not about, you know, a blood-sucking, scary vampire who's out to kill. You know, it's nothing like that. You know, there's a, it's, it's a horror film with, um, it's also a drama. I'm gonna mix horror and drama, and then there's a bit of like a, you know, a bit of a romance side story going on. So it's like a romantic horror drama I don't know. It, it's weird. It's definitely a very one-of-a-kind movie. And that's I think that's why I like it so much and why I appreciate it so much. It's because it's very unique from a lot of the other movies that I've seen. But yes, there is some romance in it. There is, um, I wouldn't say scary parts, but it's, uh, it's... I don't really, I really don't know how to explain this movie. I'm having a hard time here. My point is, you should just, just go watch it. It's a very, very great vampire film. Um, definitely, like I said, one of the best I've seen. The cinematography is fantastic. The film looks beautiful in black and white. And, um, there's, I mean, what can you not love about this movie? There's a part where there's a vampire. Did I mention this, that the vampire rides a skateboard? She does. She rides a skateboard. She goes out at night and she, you know, she rides a skateboard and... You know, she meets her victims, and it's just, that's that's cool, man. That's really cool. It's like a cool little touch they added to the movie. Because it's not every day where you get a vampire movie where the vampire skateboards its way to its victim, you know? It's just, it's very unique. It's a very strange, weird, quirky kind of unique movie. Like I said, there's nothing really scary about it. It's not scary at all, but it's very entertaining. I personally really, really enjoyed it, not being a vampire fan, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. Overall, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night is a very, very, very well-made film with some great cinematography, and um, it's definitely, it's very unique, and uh, yeah. Overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give this film a 4 out of 5. I personally really enjoyed this one. I really liked it. Definitely one of the best horror films I saw in 2014, and um, yeah, I highly recommend it for those of you to check it out. Although, don't expect, you know, it being a flat-out horror film, because it's not. Like I said, it's very different, but, um, you know, that's okay. It's okay to be different. And hopefully, you guys will like it as well. Alright, guys, that is it for this review. I'm Jacob Palacio. Do not forget to leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.